In today's Success Sparks, I have the privilege of being with another woman making a huge difference in the community, City Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman, who is also 25-year president of Clara White Mission and has done incredible things in this city. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So excited to be here with you today. So you have done so many remarkable things, and I know that you've won an enormous number of awards. And the most important thing is what you've done at Clara White Mission. Absolutely. So in 25 years, you've taken a fledgling budget, and now it's over $3 million. Exactly. And the impact you've had is enormous. Tell us about that. Uh, well, first of all, I'm just so excited to be there and to know the changes that I've done, not by myself, but with my board and my staff, that we've taken the legacy of our founder, Dr. Eartha M. M. White, to develop a lot of the social issues that, that um, was around 115 years ago, and we're still having those same issues. Yes, unfortunately. And so, you know, expanding uh, the food uh, mission in terms of uh, soup kitchen, in terms of feeding people, we're training and housing people, you know, providing mental health and social services. And then we have a little entrepreneur where we have our cafe in partnership with St. John's Episcopal Church. That's a uh, Clara's at the Cathedral. At Clara's, you've been, I've been there. there. You know, I've been to all your things. I volunteered in the soup kitchen. I've been to all your things. You're yeah. doing all sorts of wonderful work. So, you know, a lot of it, Snowden, is really out of de demand, right. you know, for the people that that come to the Clara White Mission. And, you know, I grew up in public housing, which right. was right down the street. So a lot of the people that come to the Clara White Mission are people that I grew up with. Right. And unfortunately, you know, their paths were a little bit different. And I wanna make sure that the Clara White Mission is a safety net for those who can't go anywhere else. So I wanna make sure that I'm at the table and not on the menu when it comes to innovative program for the underserved in, in our community. And I know one of those innovations is the White Harvest Farm. And Absolutely. what is that? Well, White Harvest Farm is located um, in the Northwest Jacksonville area. It's uh, an urban farm. It's right in the middle of a food desert community. Which is so it's, important. Oh my oh, God. Oh, such yes. an important piece. Absolutely. Yes. And we are growing um, produce and have grown produce organic, for the last produce, organic, organic, produce. organic. And for some individual, I mean, it's, it's really taking education and training because a collard green is a collard green. You know <laughs> that's what I mean? right. That's so right. they all know whether it's organic or, or, or it's traditional. Means it doesn't have pesticides <laughs> on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but to be able to, to, to share that with them right. and how healthy it is for your, for your body. And, you know, there has been a lot of mortality in that district, just disparities that we want to come and provide to the families and the schools and in that district. We also have a mobile um, uh, van that we go and we go to the churches. That's and wonderful. so we are able to provide that. But at the White Harvest Farms, um, we just got a, a grant recently um, to develop it into a full-fledged um, Farmer's Market. Oh, wonderful. Um, prior to me coming into the city, um, I had been working on that for several years. Oh, that's wonderful. And um, not only that, we're going to provide a big beautification plan so residents in that community will know that something happens. So I really think the city of Jacksonville, prior to coming on as yes, a city, city councilwoman, yes. Yeah, but, you know, a shard in the arm like that means so much from an economic standpoint to those individuals that live in that community. So you're now a city councilwoman and you're incumbent running again on March 19th. I so am. what is your vision for the city? Because you've had such a, a big impact for so long. What's your vision? Well, my vision one is to continue to do what I'm doing. I think I bring a, a fresh perspective mm -hmm. for the nonprofits right. because there has not been a representation on, on the council since Suzanne Jenkins. Right. And I've had an opportunity to talk to her and bring the humanistic side of it. And, you know, with several cuts over the past years mm. that a lot of the nonprofits are working together to make sure that the gaps in services are being met um, right. for the homeless and veterans in our community. So, um, 
you know, it's easy to say what you're going to do right. um, before you get there. But now I have a seat at the table. I want right. to continue that. I have some innovative plans that I have for the district. And the only way that I can do that is that I am voted in. I was there appointed by the governor, right. you know, a few months ago. And uh, it has been a great opportunity working with the mayor's office and the city council as well. So if people want to support your campaign, what's the best way to do that? They can uh, send it to the Jacoby Pittman campaign at P.O. Box 2028, Jacksonville, Florida, 32203. And then what's your website where they can learn it's, more? It's Vote Jacoby. Um, ah, I should know that, right? Uh, vote uh, <laughs> Jacoby.com. Vote Jacoby.com. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for everything mm -hmm. you've done for the city. We mm -hmm. hope you'll be able to continue to do that thank great you. work. I know you will at the mission, no matter what. Absolutely. And, and you're you're one of those women who keeps our fire going. So That's thank right. We you keep so it rolling, much. just like you. <laughs> <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like you. Right? <laughs> We're a mutual admiration society. So Absolutely. coming up next is keep your fire burning.